Exciting news! The latest version 4 of our extension WordDrive for Zoho CRM is here. In this video, I'll walk you through the installation process and also highlight its default features. To install the extension, please navigate to Marketplace, then search for WordDrive for Zoho CRM. Okay. In the result, the first option you can see WordDrive for Zoho CRM by Easy Plugins. You need to select this one. You can see it's developed by InstaWebWorks. All right, so you have the option to buy the extension directly from here, or you can start free trial. I'm gonna to agree to the term of service, then continue. Select both of the options, continue to install. Over here, you have to choose users or profiles. I'm going to choose install for all users and then confirm. Now I have to wait until the installation is completed. After the installation is completed, this pop up window will appear uh, to ask you whether you want to log errors or not. You can skip this part if you want. So I'm going to cancel. Now it will redirect me to the extension settings page. All right, so the first thing we have to do is to do the authentication. So I'm going to click on authenticate and this pop up window will come up. I'm going to go down and click on accept. And you can see the authentication is completed successfully. I'm going to close the window and wait until the verification is completed in the background and after which uh, it will redirect me to the module settings page. All right, you can see the extension is set up by default for five modules, leads, contacts, accounts, deals, and campaigns. If we go to the Word Drive, then under the team folder, we can see a new folder called Easy Word Drive and inside which we can see the five mod folders for the five default modules. So this is the folder structure by default, um, which is the naming convention of the folder. Whenever a record is created, a folder will be created inside the folder of that um, module in WordDrive. So let me show you how you, um, the extension works. Let's create a new contact. Let's give it a first name and the last name and hit save. All right, you can see we have this uh, field called Word Drive Folder ID EXT, which is created by the extension. It will be populated with the folder ID. And in the related list, we have this uh, Easy Word Drive related list widget which will show you the folder uh, in real time. You can create folders directly from CRM using this widget. You can also upload files and now if we go to the Word Drive we can see in the contacts we have this folder test folder final for the record and inside it we can see the folder and the uploaded file you can search for files you can create folders you can upload folders you have these three different views uh, we have this view with the small preview of uh, the files you also have this tabular list view uh, with all of these options mm. and if you click on these settings, uh, we can see all of these options like sync attachments. Uh, let's see how it works. Let's uh, upload a file in our attachment. Let's add a couple of files, open and attach. Now, if we click on sync attachment then it will download all of the files from the attachment and upload it to your word drive folder of this record 
we also have the option to go to the word drive folder directly from the widget you can see all of the files we also have the option to share the current URL with download access only or we can share the current folder with full access you can copy easily and then share with anyone and then that person with the full access can upload a file or a folder let's upload a file to show you okay so the file is uploaded now if we come back to a widget you can see that file is not here but if we click on refresh then it will update the widget with the latest files and folders and you can also search for uh, files and folders from here okay and you can also rename a file directly from the widget of your CRM you can uh, copy and paste it in a folder item copied you can move a file from one folder to the another using cut and paste item moved successfully you can download the file in your computer it's downloaded you can open the file in word drive directly from your uh, widget and we also have the other options like external share link with download only and also full access okay lastly we have this delete option you can delete a file or folder directly from your uh, CRM and if you go to our word drive you can see the changes reflected in real time okay you can also open any file in your CRM using this widget but it only uh, accepts uh, supports PDFs and uh, images you, if you don't have any option of previewing a file in the widget you can open it in the word drive you can see we can open uh, PDFs easily from the extension okay you can use the word drive for Zoho CRM extension in your Zoho CR mobile app but to do that we need to do some changes let's go to uh, setup and then we need to find the widgets let's search for widgets and then find word drive by easy plugins version 4 click on the settings icon then edit and over here we need to enable the mobile compatibility and then save then we need to come back and then in the related list we need to remove the previous uh, related list uh, which was created by default but now we need to add a new related list and widgets and install the word drive by easy plugins version 4 and give it a name And save and if we come to the easy word drive it will it should work like before same as before but if we go to our mobile app let's go to our mobile app and uh, go to the record contact and then over here you can see the easy word drive widget click on it now we can create folders upload files directly from our mobile app create and let's take a picture inside the mobile folder take a photo and save
it should be uploaded in our word drive so this is how it works in the phone and let's go back to the uh, PC now if we hit refresh then we should see the changes that we have done in the phone we have this mobile folder and we also have the image that we took in our phone finally let's talk about the folder structure if you come to the module settings of our extension you can see the five default modules and underneath it you can see the folder structure the folder structure is set up by default in a certain way for example for accounts whenever a record is created in the accounts module a folder will be created in the work drive using the account name for contacts its full name for deals is the deal name you can change it by clicking on this uh, pencil icon and this pop-up window will appear the first item is the folder name let's remove it then press on shift then three and now you can select any field from your account module next is the save folder in which field you want to save the folder ID from the word drive next is the copy lead folder this is for lead conversion only available for accounts contacts and deals when a lead is converted, if you want to move the folder, then you need to select this option. You need to select it, then you need to select the lead folder ID. Okay. Based on this ID, we will copy all of the content to the current modules folder. Next, this is the save share URL with download only access. And this is the share URL with full access. Next, use existing folder. If you want to search for existing folders and use it, then you need to select this one. Next is the move folder to new location if exist. This is for specific use cases like you may want to separate the records in the deals, uh, deals based on the stage. But if, you, if the stage changes, you would like the folder to uh, move from the previous stage to the new stage. So in order to do that, we need to select this one, move folder to a new location if exist. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to us at admin at the rate of instawebworks.com.au. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.